Like nearly all of the Nottingham Forgotten Heroes in previous videos, Frederick Gibson Garton's contribution to society has become a piece of forgotten history. There's no fancy name plaque outside his house, and yet his legacy has spread the world over. It's used by people every day, and there's a very high chance that you have his product in your kitchen cupboards right now. I am of course referring to the world famous HP sauce. Frederick Gibson Garton was born in the village of Kostock in 1863 to William and Eliza Garton. The family had moved to New Baysford and by 1881 his father was running the Royal Oak Public House whilst Frederick spent time as a grocer's apprentice. It was here that he came up with a magic recipe for his famous sauce which included garlic, shallots, ground mace, tomato puree, cayenne pepper, ground ginger, raisins, flour and salt, as well as vinegar. By 1891, Frederick, his wife and family, were living at 47 to 49 Sandon Street, just up the road from a pub, and where Frederick was running his sauce and pickle factory. In 1895, he registered the name HP Sauce, after finally it being served in a restaurant in the Houses of Parliament. It would be nice to think that HP Sauce could have become the pride of Nottingham with a massive pickle factory in the heart of Baysford. However, it wasn't to be. Money talks even then, and in 1899, Garton fell behind on his payments for vinegar, the key ingredient of his sauce, to the Midland Vinegar Company. I would guess that Edwin Sam Samore, the company's representative, was a good negotiator and to clear out the outstanding debt of just £150, which doesn't sound like a lot, but is the equivalent of £20,000 today. He purchased the rights, not just to HP sauce, but to all of Garton's products, which included among them the original Daddy's sauce, and business rights, along with his name as well. The contract also prevented him from trading in any sauces or chutneys in the future. The poor man even had to go to Birmingham and teach him how to make his sauce. The Midland Vinegar Company continued to produce Garton's HP sauce until 1903, when the Garton name was dropped. They eventually became HP sauces in 1924, and to be fair to them, they did an amazing job of promoting the sauce. And by 2019, 28 million bottles were being consumed every year, particularly on bacon sandwiches. Mm. As for Frederick Garton, on the 8th of February 1888, he married Florence Catherine Charles, and over a period of their marriage, they had six children. Not long after selling his business, he moved to West Bridgeford, and after initial struggle, set up as a grocer and provisions dealer. On the 16th of August 1942, at the age of 80, Frederick Gibson Garton passed away and was buried in Nottingham Rock Cemetery. Frederick's son John remembers in a 1986 interview with Evening Post, but his father never talked about HP sauce and never allowed a bottle into the house. Hardly surprising, I imagine. Experts reckon an original Nottingham Garton's HP sauce bottle would now go for around £100, although the Birmingham variety is probably a lot less, around £10. Nothing lasts forever though, and the HP sauce factory at Aston in the West Midlands was demolished in 2007 as the production was switched to the Netherlands following acquisition by Heinz. It's a shame that the Garton's name and connection with HP sauce is largely forgotten, so the next time you add some HP to your bacon sandwich, think for a moment of Frederick Gibson Garton, without whom your bacon sandwich might not be quite so tasty. How to get on the wrong side of Frank Bruno. Frankly, I'm not HP. How to get on the right side of Frank Bruno. Only one sauce can give all Frank's favourite foods the necessary punch. So in a couple of shakes, he's completely HP. Having a lovely time. Arthur says the view of the front is quite breathtaking. I feel like a new woman, and Arthur says he does too. I must say, this sea air has certainly given him an appetite. Steak and chips, cheese on toast, veal and ham pie, pasties, call me, he's had the lot. Oh, with HP sauce, of course. I always bring the HP. Well, you know how Arthur likes a bit on the side. <laughs> HP, you've got to admire their sauce. HP sauce is a great British sauce. 
peach pizza is so delicious, of course. All sorts of people have found it's the richest taste that's ever passed around. For me, down. Peach pizza you can use every day. HP sauce is the greatest you say. It's just right for you. Now there's HP and there's HP fruity too. Oh, sensational. Bon. It's the richest taste that's ever passed around.